We've just seen official images, leaked images from Tesla's factory of the Cybertruck, the body in white. Uh, this is the final production part of the puzzle, the most, in my opinion, the most interesting part of the Tesla Cybertruck puzzle. How is it built? This is exactly what it looks like. And well, considering I've been waiting years for this car, I've got a pre-order in. Don't know if I'll get it in Australia, but maybe eventually. I've got to say though, I am pretty excited to see this. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm the Electric Viking. My name's Sam Evans. I'm coming to you from Australia. An image taken from Tesla's Gigafactory in Texas. Remember, this is one of the biggest factories in the world, one of the biggest automotive factories in the world. It would take you probably uh, maybe two hours just to walk around the factory, to run maybe an hour. It's massive. Tesla has revealed what appears to be a Cybertruck body in white. The state of the body in whites in the photo suggests that Gigafactory Texas is closing in on initial production of the all-electric pickup truck. The leaked image was shared with Teslarati by the Cybertruck Owners Club within the last 24 hours, where it attracted a huge amount of attention from the forum's users. As you can imagine, these guys have all got Cybertruck pre-orders. I believe there's about a million pre-orders from the United States, about another seven or 800,000 worldwide. So in a total of about 1.8 million, you can imagine there'd be a lot of interested, excited people. And remember, the Cybertruck is the most Googled vehicle in the history by a factor of 10, apparently. There's an insane amount of interest in this vehicle. A lot of people think that it's ugly, it'll never sell, people hate it. But there's never been another vehicle in history that's had more than a million pre-orders. So clearly, a lot of people disagree with that assessment. Several observations were pointed out from this leaked image, mainly the fact that the units appear to be complete body in whites, as in production spec, with all their castings and stampings. From this image, you can see the some of the Tesla's kind of classic design finishes. And I mean, I've got to say, this thing looks big. It looks like it's going to be a big vehicle. When you look at the specs, it's actually a fair bit bigger than a Ford F-150 Lightning. It's got a significantly bigger bed, a lot more storage. If you include the front, you include the sail planes, you include the fact that the bed tray is much higher. Uh, it's going to be, a, I think, a really practical vehicle. I mean, a lot of people think it's not, but I think it actually is. So when are we going to see them? When are they actually going to be available for people to get delivery? Well, no one knows yet, but the use of megacasts in this image is very clear, particularly on the front and the rear of the body in white. And as observed by some Tesla fans, people have seen these images and have been closely following Cybertruck news. The Cybertruck's completed body in white does not seem to adopt the exoskeleton. Uh, Tesla were planning on building this vehicle using an exoskeleton kind of a new way to build cars. However, it looks like Tesla's use of mega cars suggests the Cybertruck can still be built with serious volume in mind. So rather than using a exoskeleton, they're now using mega casting techniques, meaning it's a little bit different in terms of its final production, in terms of the way they actually build it, but not that different. Most interesting, says Teslarati about the leaked image, is just how much more refined the completed body and whites look. They look production ready, especially in comparison to previous leaks, previous images of Cybertruck bodies. These ones look like they are production specification vehicles. So what happened was when we first saw images of the Cybertruck back in December, Sandy Munro, he saw the images and he said, ah, yeah, this bullet, I believe Tesla won't use the exoskeleton. It looks like they're going to be doing mega casting. And he pointed out that the vehicle looked like it was very much a, proto a prototype stage. It wasn't a production ready stage. This looks different. This looks very much production ready. But we'll wait and see what Sandy Munro has to say. It'll be interesting to hear if he believes they're production ready as well. Sandy Munro said that the mega cast in the leaked image from back in December was made with several welded parts that are made through lost foam casting, which is basically what you do for prototyping. So this looks different. This doesn't seem to be the case with the recently shared photos of the Cybertruck body and whites from Giga Texas. It looks to be built differently. 
It's called lost foam casting, he said. So what I can do is I can make a foam pattern, something like that, pan it up in sand, and then I pour molten aluminum into that caster, into that mold, and that mold will sublimate the styrofoam. It'll just vanish. It turns into a gas, and then it'll fill up the core that's inside that mold, and it'll give me this casting. It's gr a great idea for a prototype part. This to me looks like it's not a prototype. It looks like it's an actual production vehicle, but there's no real 100% way of me knowing. I've got to admit, I'm actually an engineer, so I don't really know. Now, what I find also interesting is the fact that experts now, or Gary Black in particular from Wall Street, is now saying that he thinks, based on insider documents from Tesla sent to suppliers, that Tesla plans on manufacturing 375,000 Cybertrucks per year. It's going to take them a few years to get to those production numbers, but those production numbers are much bigger than what experts on Wall Street had previously thought, which was around 200,000. Basically, now, people are saying, based on what Tesla is saying, they're planning on building twice as many Cybertrucks as what industry analysts thought they would. That's sort of interesting to see. And to make that happen, they need to make this a vehicle that they can produce easily, quickly, effectively, efficiently, cost-effectively as well, in particular. I mean, no one's going to buy them. I mean, some people will buy them, but they won't get those kind of order numbers unless it's priced within what people can afford. I mean, if it's priced like a Hummer, 110,000 US dollars, I don't think many people will buy it. So this means to me that it's likely we're going to see a price of around 60,000 US dollars for the base model Cybertruck. But those are just my guesses. Let me know what you think in the comments. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.